So what is a disciple? You know, you could probably ask 10 different people and get 10 different definitions. Well, I want to help you kind of understand biblically what a disciple is and what does a disciple look like. Number one, a disciple is a completely committed follower of Jesus. A disciple is somebody who has said, God, there is nothing off the table when it comes to my life. Everything that I am, I am for you and for your use and for your plans and your purposes and your pursuits. Again, let me say that a disciple is a completely committed follower of Jesus Christ. That is the functional definition of a disciple. A lot of times in the Christian world, we'll use you know these, these words and these terminologies that people really don't functionally define or really understand, so they can't adequately apply. Number two, what is a disciple? A disciple is a person who has said no to themselves. Jesus said it this way. He said, deny yourself take up your cross and follow me. So what does that mean? It says a disciple is a person who has said no to themselves and yes to Jesus in every respect. Number three, a disciple is engaged in Christ's mission. See, Christ didn't just redeem us from something. He redeemed us to something. What do I mean? God saved you for a purpose. He didn't find us, locate us, and transform us to sit idly by, but to engage effectively in the mission that he has for us. A disciple is engaged in Christ's mission. And the interesting part and the exciting part is a disciple, a true disciple, is engaged with Christ in his mission. Number four, and this is huge, a disciple obeys God's word. A disciple is someone who not only hears, but is chosen to say yes to God, not only mentally assenting to, but living in a way consistent with God's word. He said, if my word abides in you and you abide in me, you are truly my disciple. Listen, real problems require real solutions. So I want to encourage you today, dig deep in God's word.